I just want to do a quick side-by-side -side comparison of a couple of calipers. So I purchased this new Brown and Sharp caliper, and I want to compare it to the one that I was previously using, which is this uh, Anytime Tools caliper. Um, I've really enjoyed this Anytime Tools caliper. I think I got it for $35. I think it's still, and that was many years ago, I think you can still purchase it for like $38 on Amazon. It's all stainless steel construction and it has SAE and millimeters on here and it also has this wheel so it's been a really nice tool for the price and I recently purchased this Brown and Sharp just because I, I see uh, different tools out there and I thought that this may be an upgrade um, I see it at about a hundred dollars on different websites but I saw it on Zorro it was uh, seventy dollars and then I had 20 25 or 30 percent off something like that I think I got it for fifty dollars so I thought hey that's a good deal I'll check it out Slightly different construction, doesn't have the wheel here, so I thought that was interesting. Um, but this doesn't even seem to be constructed as well as the Anytime Tools that I have. Um, it's got plastic here, it's got plastic down here. Uh, it doesn't even seem to slide quite as nice as the other, and maybe that's just become because of the use on the other one. Um, but even the top kind of has a clinky sound on the face. So it seems very cheap, I'm not very impressed. Um, if I focus in here, it says Brown and Sharp value line. So I'm not exactly sure what that means. If these are cheaper line of tools that Brown and Sharp's making. I have a lot of vintage Brown and Sharp and they're very nice. Um, but I know a lot of the manufacturer sometimes, um, not what they used to be with some of these tools. Um, on the website I purchased this from, it said Tessa Brown and Sharp. So I think Tessa may own some of the, the Brown and Sharp manufacturing, and that's what I thought maybe it said in that white square there from some of the pictures online. But this one here, in the white one there, it almost looks like the text doesn't even all fit inside the square, and I think it says good. So um, definitely not very impressed with this. I think I'm actually probably going to send it back and just get a Mitu Toyo digital caliper, because I heard that the batteries on those are, are decent compared to I had a digital caliper in the past and it would just run out of batteries and wasn't very good. So um, maybe I'll just get an uh, upgrade on my digital caliper and um, keep this around for my manual caliper because I actually quite like this one. So hopefully this is helpful for anybody out there that's looking at these brown and sharp uh, dial calipers. Make sure you see if that is a value line that you're looking at. And if it is, I, I probably would pass on that. And if you want something cheaper, this Anytime's Tools is great. Otherwise, I would look for other brands. Hopefully this is helpful for anyone out there. Thanks.